in Kellera's hands. And of course, Baloisky esque hero for light, the Hellcourt. Not many pro players can actually pull this off, but if if, if, if you're considering Light to pull this off, I think there's a huge chance this may work. There's a Mad Lad strat. Again, it was set up in the story telling before the bout. Both actually are great setters. Yeah. One, a more individual or pickoff centric. The other, more for AoE. Nothing's really changed for Brusco here. Still can catch, you know, several opponents uh, with a well-timed combo. But for Light, this is very specific for him. I mean, yes, he still finds these angles. Yeah. But instead of CC, it's more damage. Oh, no! Oh, Kirk! Oh, Kirk uses his flicker just to evade that. But look at Irad already showing his dominance with his Fanny. That was close. He's looking to eradicate the XP laner oh. from Fnatic Onyx Philippines. And not much of a... Blowback from bottom lane. King Kong did steal a little camp. Yeah, he was oh. able to. Look at this cut by Nimbor. Right now, Nimbor is cutting because they were able to force Kirk to go back and recall. And looking at the lineup, again, I like the Kufra pick, but looking at the community prediction. Woo! Seems like majority of the fans are voting for the Super Family. That's a lot of Sonics. Look at the action up top. One more time on Kirk, but this time underneath the XP lane tier one. That's about 15%. Damage reduction, so Kirk's gonna be fine. It's actually good for uh, RSG because there were two attempts to bring down Kirk. Unsuccessful so far for Fnatic Onyx. And going back to my point, the Kufra actually answers two problems uh, for Fnatic Onyx the Harith and the, the Fanny because of the bouncing ball. Oh, yeah. Now check it out RSG looking to steal away. Not gonna happen. King Kong secures. I think the Kufra does do well against even Light. Yeah, this, actually, this is a Helker that jumps in, you know? Actually, uh, yeah. Ever since uh, the revamp That's of right. uh, Helker. He's got a little, little hoppy hop. Yeah, plus you don't get an automatic silence when you jump in with the Kufra. Because before the problem with Kufra is if His you hit the... combo that, stops. Yeah, the combo stops. You yeah. can't just cast the Tyrant Drake. But right now, look at Irad. Almost! But still, the fast hands were able to save him. This life flashback before his eyes. <laughs> almost. <laughs> almost, almost. Oh, and another steal by King Kong. Okay, now depriving uh, Irad of his jungle creeps. And still, Fnatic Onik has a good control. They were able to get the turret at the same time. Uh, no casualties so far. Again, to execute uh, th this uh, Hellcrit lineup, you really need a good start coming in from uh, RSG. That's right. If it doesn't snowball, especially for Light, even if he has the lethal ignition plus the execute, he's going to have a hard time picking off anyone. Yeah, and slowly but surely what this does lead to is a 200, 300 gold lead. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, that was a, a turtle take by King Kong. That's the first turtle going. Okay, so RSG really focusing on the XP lane rotation here, not giving Kirk good time. And just making sure that Kirk doesn't have an opportunity to rotate, make those I'm offended plays for Fnatic Onyx. Luckily, he doesn't have to just yet. Fnatic Onyx, PH, uh, they're very scale dependent. Like, you still need to get items on Kelra. You need to get items on King Kong specifically. And you know what? Even maybe Super Friends. You yeah. Know, I'm looking at a mid-game spike. Really, Ling is the only real scaling hero because you can snowball off of uh, Kelra. Look at the uh, emblems here. Uh, better late than never, folks. So uh, double check on uh, what you might be picking up. I like the Master Assassin on Kelra. Like, Kelra, look at this. Yeah. There, there's literally just him and the Harrod there. Just ensures that he wins the early game, the laning phase. One on one. They're dueling. Yeah, they're dueling up against Kose. But now the second turtle is here. A while ago, it was uncontested for Fnatic on it. And now Brusco doing a good job zoning out Nibor here, but they don't know where Ira is hiding. I think it's just a matter of time before RSG strikes. They're also waiting on their power spikes yeah. and for Light to get his full kit. Oh, Earth Shatter plus Blitz Gazer combination. Gonna connect on to Kirk, but Brusco answers right back. And now Dark Knight falls is there. First blood, Kirk will fall down. Exchange for Nibor. You're out onto the back line here. Can't get anyone to pick off. That's a one for one trade. And now Fnatic still standing strong. That was the upper. Oh, no deadly stingers here for light. No dark knight falls. How is RSG going to answer right back? Because Brusco is charging his tyrant's revenge. Not going to connect. It's going to be a retribution battle. But King Kong still remains the king of the jungle as he gets the second turtle. And as early as five minutes, second turtle, we already see how RSG's line up their draft, despite how spicy, how exotic, and how strong it is at specifically what it wants to do. 
it is just that. It's very specific. Yeah. It cannot start fights, at least the old-fashioned way. It cannot respond uh, to fights the old-fashioned way because, look, you got two chunky front liners for Fnatic on the Philippines. You got Kirk and you got Brusco. Even Light had to think twice. Yeah. He threw, you know, blanks at the, the Deadly Poison Stingers. Yeah. And that's so easy for Fnatic Onyx to take advantage of. But kudos to Light, though, as he picks up the Blade of Heptasis. He was able what? to what? get this, Brusco! Tyrant's Revenge! Plus the Flicker combination. Light has to pop the Dark Knight Pulse, but no counterattack from RSG as they take the purple buff away what from Irad. What I'm saying and what I say, six minutes in and already Brusco has plenty to show for in the Anong Palagmo before the match began. Yeah. We'll see who is a better setter, and he set the hell out of that move. So far, 2 for 2 with the Tyrant's Revenge Rage combination Beautiful. from Brusco. Very beautiful, right on target, and at the crucial moment because they were contesting for the purple buff. And you know this, Fanny, he needs that purple buff, especially in the early game. Haven't seen a, as good of a coup for set in a while from yeah. the names the likes of Ogwin, Chaknu, and Ghani. Yeah. Who's, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you played with Ghani, you would know. <laughs> I was supposed to say, if you played with me yesterday, you would have seen me with the coup. <laughs> oh, yeah? As Ira uh, picks a Malefic <laughs> Roar here, you can... You can assure that RSG really wants to get the pick off. Again, it's hard because... Uh oh Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Okay, f not. Bruce go charging once again. Just yeah. to make sure he's carrying Kose here as they pick up a uh, tier 1 turret. So far, so good. 2.2k gold lead for Fnatic Onyx. That's clean. You were saying, and the, the whole pick off situation for RSG, right? Yeah. Again. I don't think the pick off is going to happen because Fnatic Onyx are making themselves scarce. Look, yeah. if you want to pick one off, it's one of the chunky dudes. I don't think it's worth it. Plus... If the Frigid Glacier connects, but look at this Apophantic play onto Nebor. Is he going to be able to cast that Primal Wrath Flicker out? As Fnatic Onyx takes control of this turtle. A while ago, they were able to secure two. Now RSG has to walk away. Nothing. Just to minimize the casualties. Nothing. All towards Fnatic Onyx, man. But again, you can't say Nebor say. You can Nebor say nothing. Because sure. They're, 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 they're doing well for a team that's down a turret, yeah. a kill, and all three turtles. It, it, it can change with one beautiful uh, Frigid Glacier coming for in from sure. Aqua. But look at this, Primal Wrath will be casted. As well as Step of the Blade, Dark Knight Falls oh. is there. But the first one down is Nimbor. And this is what you were saying. If Fnatic Onyx starts things off, there's no counterattack for RSG unless Aqua is in the picture with the Frigid Glacier. But in that case, they were too fast. Fnatic Onyx was too fast. I mean, one setup from Kirk and then Tempest of Blades was all they needed to bring down one of the chunkiest heroes of the Raiders. And this is counterintuitive to what we would expect. Look at a Fnatic Onyx lineup, you would expect that they would be the ones who are the ones, you know, hiding in bushes, waiting. But no, they're they're super See, yeah. proactive. They're, they're calling shots, they're making plays, and it's RSU's relegated to playing guerrilla tactics. Like They're the ones hiding when... In truth, they're the ones who should be picking fights. Yeah, and I'm actually used to seeing a Ling in MPL normally just split pushing because they're That's on right. the receiving end most of the time. That's right. So, so far, Fnatic Onyx able to execute this lineup right now. It's oppressive, this lineup, because again, they have combat mobility, yeah. map mobility, rotational speed, and look, they're pushing like nobody's business. Look at this, this is turrets, no more. Yeah, plus the moment you try to pick off Super Freaks, aside from the fact that he has a flicker, that Deathly Grasp alone can actually save him. Even if Ira tries to go with the Cable's Cutthroat, once the Deathly Grasp uh, is casted, Fnatic Onyx, Bruce can, can just really jump in, bouncing ball, and not let Ira escape. And that's the difference in their draft. Because again, RSG, they picked up more proactive heroes, ideally on paper. They want to be able to move around, call the shots, you know, start things up. But Fnatic Onyx Philippines, they were able to draft not just reliable CC, they were able to draft okay, rotational Bruce speed and peel! He's oh. now gonna jump in, Tyrant's Revenge combination, Nimbor has to cast the Primal Wrath, but the Nimbor. Frigid Glacier is there, King Kong going after, right after the back line. The first man down once again is Nimbor, but here comes Kosei with the Synchro Vision, but look at who's there, Kelra ah. making sure to bring down the opposing gold ah. laner, cause three members of the Raiders are nowhere to be found. You get nothing good sir, nothing. Fnatic on Philippines, well, about Kelra 6 knows. head, Kelra walks in. Kelra knows knows where Ira is hiding. Three objectives for Fnatic. Make it four as they get the Lord. And looking at the instant replay, I mean, Brusco, Brusco, Brusco. This one's brought to us by Infinix. Check it out. It started off of Brusco and 
I don't know if you can zoom in, but you guys can do it yourselves. You see how well Brusco came in and protected. Yeah. Not just Kelra, but even Super Friends and Kirk, who was pretty low. He made sure that Irad wasn't able to do freestyle cables yes. because of the bouncing ball. But oh, oh! oh! Wait, have the blades. Oh, uh, Irad is gonna go for, for the it. dash. Oh! oh, King Kong. What? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, wow, look at this. One basic attack, but Kirk is here! I am offended! Finds Erod! Unceremoniously, they were in the middle of a recall battle! Man, Kirk, Kirk crashed the party, honestly. You know what, just chalk it up to it being a 5v5 game, man. Honestly, I was expecting uh, King Kong to go down. Go down from his throne. You think? Yeah, I, I knew it. I know. This is the jungle, man. This is the jungle, and King Kong is the king of the jungle. And in this moment, 8,000 gold down. RSG, 11 minutes in. There's a huge lord marching through bottom. Holy shields, pop. Pop. Oh, catches Nimbor once again. And look at the damage output of that Vexana. Frigid Glacier is wasted. One more so time. no counterattack for RSG. But look at King Kong taunting Irad, taunting the Eradicator. I bet in Irad's head he's saying, you're lucky this is not my Lancelot. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm and, sure, and, I'm and, sure. And Kirk should have been there. Yeah, Kirk should have been there. <laughs> I'd like to see you try to do that alone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but again, 5v5 MLBB play. It's a team sport. It's a team sport. Whew. RSG so far has the capabilities to turn things around with one clash since they were, uh, they were able to save all inhibitor turrets. But again, if Aqua continues to miss the Frigid Glacier, that's a huge resource wasted for the Raiders. You know what? It's less about Nebo. Uh, it's less about Aqua missing out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, it's you the can, mobility yeah. of Fnatic. And you can Kirk. people really count on what they're doing because, oh, wait. Oh, Kirk oh. missing out. Uh, they're just going for the push. Just to zone out, just to make sure to get an inhibitor threat before the second turtle, if ever we reach that point. And now Winter Crown's coming in from Fnatic Onik, making sure that Irad won't be able to get the groove that he wants with the Spani. For sure. And now, so far, uh, the Hellcrit pick, not, not really working in the favor of RG. It's not paying off. Uh, we, we understand what they were trying to do. It's just yeah. not against Fnatic Onik Philippines, who are just so honed in. Who know exactly what's up. It's just the mid lane inhibitor standing for RSG. And slowly but surely, Fnatic on the Philippines will choke out all remaining resources on the map. That's an orange buff stolen away. I'm not even sure when was the last time Irad got his purple buff. His anything. His anything, yeah. Three turtles to Fnatic's name, first turtle to Fnatic. And now it looks like the, uh, the potential last lord will go in the hands of the Sonics. And what's difficult for RSG is, sure, you can take it to the base, but even under the base, right, you don't have the most stellar wave clear in the world. Yeah. Sure, you have the Aurora. Sure, you have... If Nibor uses the Primal Wrath, that's a huge resource waste uh, just to clear out the minions. That's right. And even Kuse, yeah. he's like a mid-range mage. He has to commit. He has to really put himself there okay. for it to make a difference. Ah, okay, that the strategy right now for the Raiders is to get the pick off before the yeah. Lord spawns. And to split. Yeah, to split, to pick off. I mean, Light, I know Light really wants to cast that Dark Knight Falls at anyone. Oh. He, he can actually burst down uh, Super Friends or King Kong sure. if King Kong doesn't use the Tempest of Blades. Yeah. Yeah. But well, again, that's King Kong. Here's what's, here's what's <laughs> difficult, right? You know how bad it is for RSG right now? How? They have a Helker, they have a Fanny. They can't even split push. Because of the threat of every member from Fnatic. Right? And the, map, the map's not on their, their side. Look at this. The last inhibitor falls. Oh! It has a push. What? Out of nowhere, that's an RKO from King Kong. His Avon Force is there, plus the Primal Wrath. Kirk is the first man down, but Nib or Ira nowhere to be found. As Fnatic Onig remains undefeated so far with a game one win.